Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am testing out a new hair straightener for the first time. Yes, a new hair straightener. I am very excited to actually get to try this hair straightener. I didn't really think I was going to until the Sephora VIB sale, which is the 20% off. So I just wanted to give this a try and also do a little bit of a first impressions. My hair is dry because it's really dry in my house right now. So I am testing out the new Dyson Corel for the first time, straightening my hair. And I wanted to film my first impressions, trying it out, seeing how everybody is liking or not liking this. I haven't really watched a lot of tutorials on it. The only one that I watched was Tati when she used it for the first time. And then there was one other one that I seen where she actually curled her hair. Other than that, I wanted to try this out for the first time for myself. Not a lot of influence to it. And I hope you guys have not subscribed to my channel. Please go ahead, subscribe, click that notification bell, and leave me any comments in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys want me to film a how I curl my hair. Let me know, and I will see you guys in the next one. Let's go ahead with my bed head to straightened hair. See you guys later. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a first impressions on a brand new hair straightener. Yes, a brand new hair straightener. I blow through hair straighteners quite often because I use them a lot and they just don't hold up and I wanted to get something that will hold up hopefully and make my hair healthier, smoother, and go with all my rest of my hair tools that I've been getting. So I went and I ordered during the Sephora VIB sale where I got 20% off and this is how I actually ended up buying the Dyson Corel. This is the outside of the box or the sleeve and I am excited to give this a try. This is the box itself. It has the straightener on it and numbers. And then when you open up the box, it's already out because I charged it. Comes in a travel bag, which is really, really nice. Very, very soft. And it has the travel switch button in here so you can disconnect it when it's traveling and it doesn't turn on. And it says Dyson on the outside of the, of the carrying case. The unit that you can, that charges from it, has a really long cable and this is the stand for it. And it's inductive charging. So here's the charger by itself. Very heavy duty charger. This is the hair straightener. And I thought it was going to be a lot heavier. Like everybody says it's like super heavy, but it actually really isn't that bad at all. So when you're charging it or you're not using it, it sits just like this. I'm trying to like get it in frame like that. And when you turn it on, so this is the switch right here. This is what the hair straightener looks like. And it says Dyson right there. Go ahead and open it up. And it's got a power button right here. And then your temperature is right here. This is the lock. So if you turn it on, you can see the battery life is right there. And turning up the temperature makes that noise. So I don't know if I need to go to actually 410 degrees because that's pretty hot and it is pretty quick to get to that temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my hair out of this mess <laughs> that I have going on. And I just filmed this makeup tutorial and this will be up on my channel as well. And when it dings like that, it is up to that temperature ready. So what was that, 30 seconds? super quick. I'm hoping that it will live up to the price because it is very expensive, but I wanted to give it a try. 
and I'm really excited to give it a try. I'm just spraying some of the, this is the Way Memory Mist and I'm spraying this all through my hair. And I'm taking a hairbrush and brushing my hair. And what do we wanna do? Do we wanna do a center part or a side part? Let's try it down the center. I'm just going to work in layers like I usually do when I straighten my hair. If you guys want to see a tutorial where I curl my hair, let me know and I can do that. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Today is Saturday. I'm just going to split my hair in half and brush it out. And she is definitely hot. So I'm going to grab a section. if you can see that. That is very silky. I'm just gonna take a section from the back of my hair. I don't know if you can see it, but that is nice. So you can see this side <laughs> all like uh, and this side is nice and smooth. You can go ahead and use your brush as well. And I don't feel any pulling. I don't feel any tugging. All right, so this is one layer smoothed out, no touch. Very nice. Sorry that my uh, camera doesn't go back that far. I'm trying to like scoop back a little bit more. Oh, let's see if we can do this together. Okay, I guess you can see a little bit better. So this is side that is smoothed out and side that is not smoothed out. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's straighten this down, this side. I'm working in my normal size sections, very quick. And it's not taking that long to do. Kind of excited to give it a try for curling my hair too. If you hear my heat just turned on, my heat's on. Notice that my hair looks really shiny too. No tugging. That is nice. This is really, really nice. Just giving a brush out. Ooh, I like. All right, while my heat is sitting here not turning off, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna continue going through the rest of my hair. So far, it feels very silky, very smooth, and very shiny. So let's go ahead and just continue on with another layer of my hair being straightened. There we go. Heat is turning off. You only have like a half hour life of the hair straightener so that's why i'm trying to like not joke around too much brushing out my hair take a section of my hair and straighten this is very quick i don't have to take multiple passes to actually straighten my hair either which is nice a lot of the other straighteners that i've had multiple passes and they also kinked or got stuck or what may be. This, I'm not getting any of that. These plates are like moving plates. Very nice. Another layer done. Go ahead and do this side. Very smooth, very soft. All right, layer number two, nice and done. All right, get another layer. 
This hair straightener has a two year warranty for in case of anything does happen to it. And Dyson always had really nice customer service too if there's any issues. I'm just gonna keep on straightening it. Another layer. Still no tugging, no pulling. Just very smooth. I usually don't need to take a hairbrush to straighten my hair, but some people take a hairbrush to straighten their hair. But it just feels like it's just staying straight. I noticed a lot of hair straighteners will just pull your hair in weird directions. I am no hair professional. I like good looking hair. I'm just gonna take this section in the front of my face and just move it, straightening it forward to bring some of my hair forward. So this is another row done. And silky smooth, really, really nice. I'm gonna go ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab from the front of my hair, I'm going to brush my hair out and I'm going to straighten everything forward and then we'll go ahead and fix it. Harmony Beauty likes to do this trick a lot when she wants to have a lot more fullness in the front of her head with her hair. She likes to take it forward and straightens it out this way and I definitely noticed that it does do a really good trick brushing my hair out. You can see that your hair is forward more. <laughs> I have a colic so this is where my fun of my hair comes in. Rah. You can see that it is very silky smoothie, very shiny. Okay, come on, come on, almost. <laughs> All right, well, she doesn't want to stay. So let's go ahead and put the side parter today. Give her a good brush out. Very soft. So I'm definitely no complaints there. I have a little bit of flyaway, but I can run my hands through my hair and it feels very, very soft. I'm gonna go and grab some styling products and I will be right back. Okay, I have a couple different brands of hair products that I'm going to be using. The first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of dry shampoo in my hair and I like to use the R & Co and this is Death Valley Dry Shampoo and go ahead and nice shaker up. I'm going to take a couple spritzes in my hair. This also gives a little bit of volume to my hair too. And it smells really good. And normally I can't do this when I have my hair straightened. I can't just go like this right away. I'm just gonna sit here and work her in. Next thing I'm going to use is the dry bar. This is the triple sec. And it is a texturizer. And this stuff smells so good. I miss going to get my hair done. I miss, you know, dry bar, you know, going by dry bar, smelling their stuff. Can't wait for quarantine to be done. Spritzing some of this stuff inside of my hair, shaking her out. I'm gonna go ahead and brush through my hair. And my hair is super shiny. And if you 
can see that. Brand new clean hair. It's like I just got a blowout done. What I'm gonna use is, I have some flyaways, as I said, and I like to use the Aveda Light Elements. And this is a smoothing fluid lotion. And I put a little bit on my hand, like that much, and rub it in my hand. And I go down my ends of my hair and a little bit up towards my roots. And then I will go out and grab some hairspray. Right now I am using the r Co. The Outer Space Hairspray and this is very flexible. I do like using the Aveda ones too. There's two different hairsprays that I like to use from Aveda, but this is what I'm using today. Just gonna go ahead and spray my hair very lightly. I don't like to use a lot, because then I can't manipulate my hair. Give her one last good shake. And do we wanna see if she's gonna part somewhere? Hey, she parted down the center, sorta. Got a little baby flyaways, but that's okay. Just brushing my hair out quick, and my hair's got some volume. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick first impressions, just trying out the new Dyson Hair Corral. I am not a hair professional by any means, but I hope you guys enjoyed it seeing what kind of products that I'm using, watching me use the Dyson Corral for the first time. And if you guys like it, please let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.